Hello, how y'all doing? I'm going to talk to you this morning why poor people should not borrow money. Now, that goes against everything you've ever learned, okay? Because all they say in social media everywhere, borrow money from us, borrow some money from XYZ Financial, borrow some money from Quicken Loan at 400% interest, okay? That's all they say, okay? But poor people should not borrow money. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, what they say is that <clears throat> in order to have your credit established, you do need to borrow some money and pay it back in a timely manner. There is some truth to that. So if your bank says, okay, <clears throat> we'll give you $300 credit limit, um, that's okay. Okay, maybe you could do that. But make sure you have at least $300 to pay them back. But uh, I do not believe you need need to borrow at all. I mean, I think ideally you wouldn't borrow, okay? But um, but there is some truth to that. Uh, but like I said, if you if you borrow three hundred dollars, if your bank says you can borrow three hundred dollars on your visa, uh, I recommend you pay it off within the month. Now look. If your budget says you're poor, your neighbor says you're poor, but most of all the government says you're poor, then you're poor. Okay, you just poor. Okay, so you got to accept that. So you're at zero. So if you start borrowing money, you're going to be in the negative numbers. And that's real poverty when you're in the negative numbers. Okay, so what you want to try to do is be in the positive numbers. Even if you just have $25 in the bank, you're still positive, okay? You're not in the negative numbers. So therefore, I do not believe you need uh, credit cards at JCPenney, Zappos, etc. Because really, if you cannot afford to buy those clothes, you have to buy them on credit. What does that mean? You don't have the money in the first place. You probably don't need them. Now, I always recommend that people go back 10 to 20 years to pay those bills that they did not pay. Because... To tell the truth, the interest is going to collect 3% probably per year. They have already taken you to collections. They have already taken you to court. So, I mean, your credit is ruined. All is going to be ruined anyway. Okay? So, um, but I do recommend if you have a, a bill from 10 to 20 years ago, go ahead and pay those people. Okay? I, I do recommend you do. Uh, because you want to get a reputation for honesty. Um, now, I remember this girl told me that she had a $3,000 hospital bill that she didn't know about. Now, she knew about it. She knew she had a $3,000 bill. She just ignored it. Okay, she that's not going to pay your bills. To ignore your bills or, or try to run away, go to another state, that's not going to work. Okay? Um, but she got her house anyway. But I don't recommend you do that. Just ignore ignore it and it will go away because the bill is not going to go away. Okay? I do recommend you pay particularly in this age of pandemic, you pay who you need to pay. The Bible says to borrow a servant to the lender. So if you don't want to be in servitude to anybody, I do recommend you don't borrow. Have a nice day.